Hello. Ah, bit knackered. Yeah, a bit knackered. Walked a few miles, about 40 or 50 miles. Probably about 100 yards. That's nice, isn't it? Let's have a better look. Look at that. Glorious. A bit chilly today, but you know when you walk, you get warm, don't you? So uh, that's what's happening. <laughs> so this year, well, this year's involved a lot, hasn't it? Really, a lot of stuff, a lot of external stuff away from me. And really, for the most part, I've just bloody ignored it. If it doesn't directly affect me and my life and my friends and my family and my loved ones, yeah, just let it go. Not interested. But I've had my own stuff to deal with, so I don't need the out stuff, the outside stuff. Um, yeah, but a few things really, I suppose, in the last year. Who remembers that tooth debacle? Bloody costly and painful and... Anyway, so that's sorted. I made a video saying... Uh, no, I didn't. In the video I said nothing lasts forever, you know, it doesn't rain forever. And this too shall pass and uh, I made a, an old video eight years ago and I think I called it everything is temporary which it is so uh, these thoughts and feelings surrounding the dentist or whatever I don't know what I thought thought felt at the time it's all gone and forgotten then I've had uh, a few appointments about my heart Please don't lick my love, thank you. Look at him. Don't go back and lick Bode, come on. Here's a car. Come here, we do get the odd car. Come over here, love. Here, please. There's a good boy. Come here. Come here. There you go. Okay. Yeah, we get the odd car down here, not a lot really, but um, just a matter of listening, being aware. There's my good boy. Okay. Yeah, so about a number of things really. The toughest thing, really always to deal with for me, is my mental health. You know, at the moment it's pretty good, but both I do feel most of the time I'm walking on a tight rope, you know, just I could go either way. It is what it is. And uh, sometimes the anxiety gets a little bit better of me and sometimes depression gets a little bit better of me. But most of the time, I'm just living in this world of, you know, weirdness. But perhaps you all are to some degree, you know. I do say, and I do believe, 
life is good and good gets better and on the whole life is good you know and when we look at the good and we realize that the good does get better the more you look for the good the more the good appears when you look for the nicer things of life those nicer things appear more and more so life is good and the good does get better it may be a struggle at times of course you know we may be dealing with some form of mental health issues and what have you but uh, that's fine we can do that we can manage that there's a lot of people dealing with a lot more that's what I think a lot more so I don't need to um, I don't really need to overemphasize to myself what I'm going through when other people are going through a hell of a lot more and they have they have been for a long long time and they've had it a lot worse than me a lot worse I um, I do have it m sort of mostly permanently because it's called dysthymia if you don't know and uh, it's just long term really forever depression it is what it is but I'm not depressed as such come on bird this way please um, and in fact most of the time I'm quite happy uh, happy on my level though it's a different level to a lot of people so they tell me but I'm quite happy most of the time and I make the best of the situation whatever situation it may be and of course the biggest situation is something called a life <laughs> you know so you've got to make the best of life and I'm very glad and grateful to have this life you know I couldn't I couldn't wish for more at times. I wish it was a bit easier sometimes, mental health wise, but I couldn't really wish for more in lots of other ways. When you think that just a couple of years ago now, just two years, I could have died. I had cancer, I had pneumonia, <coughs> I had COVID. I need a Slurpee. And uh, any of those things could have whisked me off <laughs> but I'm still here and I'm very very grateful that I'm here obviously so as I say at any time things could have been very very different but, you know we live we live for a purpose and uh, some of us know our purpose why we're here and some of us don't and some of us it's very very clear and obvious and others it's very confused and not quite known as, as such you know and uh, i believe everybody has a purpose in life everybody and if you ever think you don't you do you really do you know it doesn't have to be a massive thing you know you don't have to find the cure for cancer It'd be nice if you did but uh, you don't need to be a brain surgeon it could be something small it could be whatever you know I, I made these made a video recently saying who I like to watch well I like to watch a lot of people on YouTube really uh, but there's three or four or probably five that for me I must watch you know as soon as they come out with a video I like to stop what I'm doing and watch and perhaps their purpose in life is entertainment Perhaps their purpose in life is to take away some of the pain and suffering of life. Perhaps, perhaps they say nothing in their videos, nothing at all, but then they say everything. Maybe it's just music, maybe it's just silence, and maybe by switching off and watching them, maybe that's really, really beneficial to our mental health Maybe that's their purpose on life, is to look after our mental health in a different way. <laughs> Come on, Bode, there's my good boy. Yeah, who knows. So my purpose in life, I believe, is to help or guide or advise 
or show some people a different way uh, maybe to teach would you say I don't know whatever words you want to throw at it I think I screwed my nose up at every single one of those words because none of them really fit but perhaps all together you bundle all those words up and uh, we come up with a new word whatever that new word may be <laughs> and perhaps that's what I do in my life not always but sometimes Whatever your purpose is, you don't need to do it 24-7. Uh, perhaps just living can be your purpose. Perhaps me just living my life, knowing that I have anxiety, I have depression, I have panic attacks, I have dysthymia. Maybe just living is my purpose. Maybe that's enough. And maybe people who are struggling in some way might catch one of my videos and think, well, he's doing kind of okay. And perhaps they will then look at their lives and think, right, well, maybe I can also do okay. And maybe we've created a connection without ever knowing it. And perhaps your purpose in life is just to be a friend, just to be a good friend because without you in somebody's life, maybe that person doesn't have a life, maybe that person without you feels like they don't matter and you validate them, you make them feel important, worthy, loved cared for, respected. Maybe that's your job, it's just to be a friend. That's your purpose, perhaps. Anyway, yeah, just kind of reflecting on the year and then I've gone off on a tangent, which is what I'm uh, very inclined to do. It's all good. I just needed to breathe some fresh air today. Really needed it. Again, with the uh, dysthymia, with the anxiety and depression and the panic attacks and my weird ways. For some reason I couldn't go out yesterday. I should have and uh, got ready and just couldn't manage it really. Just didn't want to, so um, anyway. So I decided that we would go out today and we've been up and down these paths all over the place and it's been really, really lovely and obviously very beneficial because here we are, alive. So this year I decided to take control of my life a little bit more uh, I have to be honest, it took a long, long time to get over the cancer um, and everything that that entails and I'm still not over it and I know that I'm not over it. I believe it's changed me forever. I've never been a great worrier, but in truth, I do worry that the cancer's going to come back. That's... Uh, being honest, you know, if it does, I don't think I can deal with it, I don't think, anyway, I, I just don't think that uh, it would be good if it did come back, but for now, it isn't back and we're here, so yeah, it's been a bit of tricky old time. But I've decided to take control of my life a little bit more um, and do a little bit of exercise. So I do, um, come on my love, this way. I use my exercise bike. 
couple of times a day, sometimes even three or four times a day. And uh, I've got an exercise band that I fiddle around with if and when. Don't use it a lot, but you know, certainly once or twice a week I use it. I'm trying to get out a minimum three times per week for a minimum of one hour. So we'll see, uh, see if I end up losing any weight. Give myself a year and see what happens. Come on, my love, this way. Come on. Okay, I'll catch you later. Take care. Be well. Hello. My poetry book is on my eBay now. Links in the description.